three-step throw. Javelin drawn back, left leg back, right leg forward. Settle into good explosive position. Count one, two, three. Over. One, two, three. Be aggressive with lower body. Chase out after it. After the stand and the one step, here's the stand, here's the one step, we go back to the three step. Now, keeping yourself in alignment underneath your center of gravity, javelin aligned, get down into a sort of a half squatting position, draw the javelin straight back over the shoulder, and take one, two, three. Throw, follow through. Five step throw. Add two more steps to the three step throw. Start off slow and end a little faster. Count one, two, three, four, five. Always think slow to fast. Walk or jog into a five step throw. Great rhythm drill to set up your full approach. With javelin drawn back, start off with a slow walk and pick up the pace. Knee drive, and when you feel confident, count one, two, three, four, five, and throw. Once you get this down, you can put a mark on the side of the runway and try to have your five step initiated at this marker. So now after the three step, you add two more steps to create the five step. The importance here again is keeping yourself under the center of gravity, staying balanced, being on the balls of your feet, kind of nice and light. Feel light, draw the javelin back, keep it parallel to the ground and count one, two, three, four, five. Seven step and walk into seven step throw. Either one can be used effectively. In 1982, Yuva Hon won the European Championships at the age of 19 with this short approach and threw over 90 meters. Two years later, with a full approach, Yuva threw 104.80 meters. Tom has thrown in the 90 meter range as well and prefers to throw the walk into seven step in the preseason. Seven step again is just like two more steps added on to the five step. The three step, the five step, and the seven step are all based on setting yourself up for a rhythm to drive your legs into the throw. So the sequence, the first few steps are slow and easy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, following through, keep the momentum going. The release has to happen. As you do your standing, your one step, your three step, your five step, and your seven step, the release, if you pull with your left side, if you get the rotation of the shoulder and a good follow through, you don't have to think about the release. Everybody says, where should you release the javelin? Where should you release the javelin? It shouldn't be a thoughtful, conscious thought of where it is, because it happens naturally. There should be no thought of, should I release it here, should I release it here, off to the side. If it's done properly, your release will be executed at the right spot.